Okay, um, <clears throat> bus people. Let me sort of bring you up to speed here. We're in the bus, and where I was sleeping, most people were sleeping. And suddenly I was woken up by people pushing against me as they left the bus. Of course, I had no idea where I was or what was going on. But we were at a restaurant, so I was totally unaware for maybe five to eight minutes as to what was going on. Because though, though we had stopped, I was sleeping. Now normally in, um, say, Korea, Japan, Thailand, etc., where you take a bus and people make a rest stop, they announce that they are making a rest stop so that you can hear, <clears throat> even if it's in Thai or Korean or Japanese, uh, they say something so that the entire, you know, humanity on board is aware. And uh, it certainly would have woken me up and made me aware that we were about to be at a bus at a stop, a rest stop. Yours did nothing. In fact, it took me a while to realize that it wasn't another pickup or that it was a rest stop. So maybe 15 minutes went by before I could even figure out what was going on. Which meant by the time I got off the bus and got to figure out we had a rest stop. Um, you know, as soon as I can try and grab something, the guy was tapping my shoulder and pointing to go, take, go back to the bus. And I'm like, we've only been here for two minutes. And then he, he not only gets back in the bus, but he starts to blow the bus on and starts to pull away. Now, you have got to learn and respect customer service and some manners, okay? You make this man make announcements. I have gesturing, him gesturing rudely, refusing the ticket. You know, if you're going to have people come to Malaysia and experience, you know, crap, then you're going to have a problem. So I just suggest to you to um, better train your staff because he wouldn't let me on the bus even with my ticket, even when I bought the other ticket. Um, he, he didn't recognize it. And uh, you can see by the hand signals that he was giving me how rude that was. Um, I'm sorry, but when I come to a place and it, there is a time constraint and the person is basically denying me entry that I have paid for, I swear, I become, you know, less polite conversational. It's on camera, but it's on you. Because I spent about 30 minutes on the phone, booking the tickets, explaining where I was, we was given wrong information, and now I have Godzilla as a bus driver. So, you have to deal with this, and uh, you're gonna have to give me back some money, because I am fed up. I'm not here to be, be you know, have you abused me, because you couldn't care less about how we get anywhere. Is that clear? And I am, I'm sitting next to Attila the Hun. I mean, Thailand, oh my god, they were issues, but they were, you know, make, making, um, okay, watch him make everybody in the bus throw up. He, he, you know, the guy made an effort to tell everybody in Thai what he was doing, and then those who, who spoke English told us so that we knew for a fact what was happening. 
this one. All I can say is really 